My wife doesn't know this, but I'm going to tell it to the public. One of my sons, and I won't tell you which one, but you know the one that always get the right hand of fellowship. He was naughty one day. He did something very, very bad. So I hit him when his mother wasn't looking. Right in the, in the crown of his head. Busa. <clears throat> and he opened his eyes and he looked at me. Daddy, that didn't hurt. <laughs> oh, he didn't know where I came from. <laughs> he didn't hurt. I said, he didn't. So I gave him another one. Busa. He didn't hurt. So I gave him another one. Busa. He didn't hurt. <laughs> then I gave him another one until he stopped talking. Then his eyes went red. And then he says, he's, he's hurting. <laughs> Anytime you're fasting, Satan says, it didn't hurt. It may be hurting you. It was hurting me when I was doing that, but I need to teach him a lesson. His brother kept telling him, say to daddy, it hurts. <laughs> He'll stop. <laughs> we need to teach the devil a lesson. And the lesson we need to teach the devil is that I'm the master of my body. When the shadow of Peter fell on the people, he didn't know the problems there. If he knew some of their problems, he will have, his shadow will have gone because <laughs> people who know how to make money don't tell you until they finish making the money that so there's no seminar about making money until there's no more money <laughs> I tell you that. they're looking <laughs> It's called dumb money. They've got all these properties. They've got all these things. And they're looking for people to offload them onto. And they give you free dinner. Somebody wants to sell you something and is giving you free food. <laughs> when I pray for people, I say, I pray for you now. May the Lord make you better when you wake up. Little children will say, I've prayed for you. Daddy, get up now. <laughs> get up now. They don't say when you wake up. So get up now. Have you, have you seen children when they, let's say you have a family problem and you pray. Let's say for finance. The following morning when the postman comes, daddy, daddy, has the money come? They expect it to come the following day. Use that little child simplicity. To get miracles happen in your church. The Yoruba word for radio is the box that speaks and doesn't expect any answer. <laughs> when I was in Muslim, I, we used to pray, lie, lie, hila, lie, 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 hila, lie, lie. And if somebody comes and abuses your mother, you will tell them where to get off <laughs> by using sign language, even while you're praying. Many people in Nigeria, when they pray, they're not praying to God, and they're not praying to the devil. They're praying to you. You will live long. What do you say? Amen. Amen. You will prosper. Amen. Your children will respect you. You will travel and you will have life. <laughs> we're not praying, we're pronouncing. And so as we pronounce things, people say, Amen. 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 As a Muslim, you say, Ami. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Wash your face. So it's not just me, my hand, all over me. Let me pray. So you are wishing them well. Did I tell you the story of the person who promised to give me a birthday present? It was when I was 60. And the person found me, claiming to be one of my children. What would you like, Brother Paul? Oh, thank you for remembering my birthday before everybody remembered. I will what would you like? I said, I want 10 pounds of M&S voucher. The person says, 10 pounds? I said, that's all I want. Only 10 pounds voucher. I don't want 10 pounds 
husband. No, because I will save it. That's my problem. <laughs> I can't save money and spend it. The money must produce. It's, it's, I don't spend the goose. I only spend the egg that the goose has. Some people love money, but they don't like it. As soon as they see money, they say goodbye to it. No, I say welcome. <laughs> Come on, join your brothers. <laughs> when life is long and you are around 70, that you begin to appreciate what you did when you are 40. Mm -hmm. If I don't get a penny from today and I live another 50 years, which would make it very hard for NHS. <laughs> my money should never when God is the owner of your money who's going to have a sleepless night it's God who never sleeps that's why the Bible says he that keepeth Israel <laughs> I remember when I used to tell people don't carry my bag don't carry my bag don't carry my bag Every time they try to carry my bag, I said, no, don't carry my bag. And then they stopped carrying my bag. Then I thought, nobody's asking me. <laughs> I want to be able to say, don't carry my bag. <laughs> At least offer to carry. <laughs> so I didn't know that inside, I want my bag to be carried. <laughs> but I want to claim humility by saying, don't carry. So when they don't offer, I realize that whether I carry my bag or they carry my bag, inside, I, I still want it to be carried. You think because you've arrived at certain level of success, you deserve. You can deserve it if you're a millionaire. You can deserve it if you're a, a chief executive. But when you haven't contributed a cent to your success, There's nothing you have that hasn't been given. May God forgive me for being... <laughs> but when I say I like something, uh, currently, uh, uh, it's beans. <laughs> so I had to tell one of them. <laughs> no more. <laughs> it's coming out of my nose. I said, I want to eat something until I regret it. But currently, I, I'm regretting beans. Because <laughs> I have to be careful where I go. <laughs> Otherwise, they will think <laughs> a British gas engineer is not far. <laughs> Break up into house groups. Then you will know what a people who are garrulous. They've been injected with a gramophone needle. They can't stop talking. Some people, they can't be wrong. No matter what we are talking about, they're experts. That's the church. Those are the awkward people you need grace to handle. There are some, no matter what we are talking about, they never make a contribution. You try to encourage them, sister, so and say, what do you think? Eh? Do you think? <laughs> yes, I think, but I not talk. <laughs> so there are some you can't stop them talking, others you can't coast them up. But that's how you get on. That is reality. This is life. You have money, somebody is broke, and they're jealous of you. You drive in a new Mercedes, and they haven't even got a bus pass to get to you. Come when you finish your house group and you give them a lift in your car. Mm. <laughs> so there are two sides to life. In the same church, they begin to envy you. But that's how you relate and you people then get better. Next time you know how the other half lives. So when they are praying, you can sense this person is praying out of pain. 
Remember what I used to tell you? Anytime my wife goes away, maybe to pray or to somewhere, liberty, again. <laughs> and I go to the Chinese restaurant, and I go to the Chinese takeaway, and the Chinese woman says, your wife left you again? <laughs> You don't know what it is to be on your own on a Sunday afternoon when everybody's with their families. But if you're in a cell group, you will feel for people. Christmas time, Mother Sunday. That's the, that's the church. And they don't want you to tell them how they can feel better about it. They want a man, even a bad one. Like somebody wrote, he said, don't come to England, we're all suffering. And he says, I want to come and join you in that suffering. <laughs> You've been suffering for the past 20 years. Your cheeks are rosy. Let me come and join you. Most dreams need interpretation. Because you will see them in an allegorical way. I see myself, there's one, one person who said, um, <clears throat> I, um, I found the girl God wants me to marry. I said, how did you know? Well, he says, I slept. And then I had a dream. And I saw two goats. Well, one she goat, one he goat. And we were under a tree and we were moving closer together. So the only way God can show you the person to marry is when he makes you into a goat? <laughs> if you don't have money, you are broke. It's, there's no other way to believe that, oh, God has answered my prayer. I've taken it by faith. If you don't have money, faith doesn't work. You need cash. So I've tried prayer, I've tried deliverance, I've done confessing. The only thing left was to give thanks. So I called my wife into the room where I was praying that morning. And I said, let's praise the Lord. Let's dance to an invisible music. So we began to dance. And as we were dancing, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord. <laughs> so we were dancing, and as we were dancing, after about 15 minutes, my wife says, what are we dancing for? <laughs> Hallelujah, we are broke. <laughs> Hallelujah, there is no money in the bank today. She said, I thought we were dancing because the money has come. No. I said we were dancing because the money hasn't come. And I'm going to praise the Lord. Not because I'm hoping the money will come, but I'm thanking God that the money hasn't come. I'm going to show the devil that I will praise God even when things are tough. I'm going to praise him before I see the result. And I'm going to praise him even if I don't see the result. I'm not going to praise God out of my problem. I'm going to praise God in my problem. I'm going to praise him because of my problem. If they take my house, I will praise him. If my children have to leave their private schools, I will praise them. I've already sold the, um, uh, the BMW, and to add insult upon injury, somebody gave me a ladder. <laughs> he said, would I like to buy it? I said, how much? He said, 250 pounds. I said, no, thank you. I couldn't park it in front of my house. I took my glasses off. I balanced the way I walked. 
I learned once again to queue at bus stops. <laughs> but you know, the bank did not repossess our house. As you know from the way I look, I was born in Africa. But I was buttered and bred in England. Well, I don't like butter, but I was, I was bred and marmaladed in England. <laughs> But because I've been brought up by a white family, I began to acquire, before I got born again, um, a British way of uh, not only thinking, not only speaking, uh, which I have toned down a lot, uh, um, because before you could not speak <laughs> like this. <laughs> so I had to tone it down so that people will be hearing what I am speaking about. When my children and I, when we go on holiday and we talk, we, we talk sometimes funny, we make, a, we make our own Britain has got talent. And Simon will say to me, Father, what is the matter with you? I say, go and ask your mother. Maybe if there's something the matter with me when I go to church. <laughs>